12 of the fantasy baseball season. And here's a few pitches I look to sell and trade this week. The first guy, Braxton Garrett of the Miami Marlins. So Garrett, I know I mentioned to add him this week here off the waiver wire. But if you could add a player off the wire and flip him in a deal for someone with more of a track record or a nice bat, this would be the time to do it. It's on the season here for Garrett. 69 and two-thirds. Three and two records, 77 Ks, a 3.88. ERA, a 1.22 whip and two quality starts, but the last couple weeks here, 11 and a third. 1 and 0 record, 17 Ks and 0.79 ERA. 0.79 whip and a quality start in the time here. So Braxton Garrett, he's going out there and he's pitching good baseball, but the problem with him, he's not going deep into games, obviously, this season. He's been a five-inning pitcher. The strikeout rate is great. Aren't going to be there. Quality starts aren't going to be there. And I don't know if this Marlins team is going to be for real the remainder of the season. Going for Miami. So the last few games here for Garrett, June 5th versus the Royals. Five innings, got the win. Six hits, four runs, six Ks. June 11th at the White Sox, five and a third. No decision, three hits, no runs, a walk, nine Ks. And June 17th at the Mets, six innings, got the win. Four hits, a run, a walk, eight Ks, a quality start. So the last three outings for the most part. It's been very favorable matchups versus weak hitting teams here for Braxton Garrett. His next outing is tomorrow versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we'll see if he could go and pitch another good game here. So right now, the matchups have been favorable. He's playing good baseball, no doubt about it. But I just don't think he's going to keep it up as Garrett. And he's a pitcher I would sell this week. The next pitcher is Tywa Wells of the Baltimore Orioles. So Tywa Wells, he's been great over the last three, four weeks here for this Oriole team and fantasy owners. And on the season, he's up there in the top 20 in the rankings. On the year 81 and two-thirds. 6-2 record, 82 Ks, a 3.20 ERA, 0.86 whip and 5 quality starts in the last two weeks for him, 13 and a third. 2-0 record, 12 Ks, a 2.70 ERA, 0.90 whip and 2 quality starts. The last season he was a 500 pitcher with a 4.25 ERA was Tyra Wells. But this season the strikeouts are way up, a strikeout in inning he's averaging. He's going deeper into ball games, which is good obviously, but I just don't see it holding up as well. In that AL East with a lot of good hitting teams, we know Toronto can hit. We know the New York Yankees when Judge comes back. That whole dynamic of that offense changes. And also with the Boston Red Sox, they've been hitting the baseball pretty decently this season. So the last few games here for Wells, June 4th at the Giants, 5 and a third got the win. Four hits, two runs, two walks, nine Ks. June 9th versus Kansas City, six and two thirds got the win. Five hits, two runs, a walk, four Ks, a quality start. And June 30th versus the mentioned Toronto Blue Jays. Great outing, six and two thirds got the win in that one. Five hits, two runs, a walk, eight Ks, a quality start. So Wells, last three out of four outings, quality starts for him. He's had some decent matchups though at the Giants in Kansas City, but the true test was the Jays pitched well in that ball game. His next outing is here today at the Tampa Bay Rays, which obviously could go either way. This Ray team, they started off the season on fire. Now they've come back down to the pack a little bit. But anyway, Tyler Wells, I don't think he's going to keep it up at these levels. He hasn't gone deeper than 100 innings in his major league career. And right now, he's a guy I definitely would sell high this week. The next picture is James Paxton. Now the Boston Red Sox. So Paxton, I mentioned him as a sell-off last week. And this week, I'm going to mention him again. He's pitching great baseball. No doubt about it is Paxton, but with his, his injury concerns and who knows how long his arm can hold up as well. A guy who's pretty much missed the last two seasons. He's a guy to be weary of that he can continue at this rate on the year 38 and a third. 3-1 and one record, 51 Ks at 3.29 ERA. 1.07 whip and four quality starts. So the talent's always been there for Paxton, like I said, but it's always been a health issue. And right now, like I said, he really hasn't pitched in the last two seasons. And we don't know if there's going to be an inning cap on him or he's just going to fall apart and he's start now. So the last few outings, June 6th at Cleveland, seven innings, got the win. Six hits, two runs, two walks, nine Ks, a quality start. June 12th versus the Rockies, six innings, no decision in that one. Four hits, a walk, eight Ks, a quality start. And June 19th in Minnesota, twins, six and a third, got the win. Three hits, three runs, a walk, seven Ks. So right now the strikeouts are great for Paxton. No doubt about it. In the last three ball games here for him, he's gone out there and he's getting the Ks. He's Paxton with 24 strikeouts in the time. So he's getting a good strikeout rate. But like I said, he's just a guy I can't trust with all the seasons he's missed and all the injuries he's had throughout his career. So right now, while well, he's pitching good and there's no health issues here with Paxton, I think you could get a good bat in a deal 
or a starting pitcher who's struggling and definitely could turn the corner. The next pitcher is Tajon Walker of the Philadelphia Phillies. So Walker, I mentioned him as an ad this week as well. Right now, still out there in 52% of fantasy leagues. And this has been the tale of the tape for Walker over the last few seasons. Him having a solid first half. He even made the all-star team with the New York Mets. And then the second half falling apart. But this season, the problem is on the road, he struggled. And at home, he's pretty much been an ace pitcher. But on the year, 77 and a third. 73 record, 66 Ks. A 4.31 ERA. 1.28 whip and 7 quality starts. So that's pretty much what you're going to expect from Walker. Even though last season... He was 12 and 5 with a 3.49, but the last two weeks, like I said, one of the best pitches, if not the best pitcher in the two weeks, man, in fantasy baseball. 20 innings, 3 0 record, 21 Ks, and 0.45 ERA, 0.80 whip, and two quality starts. So he's going out there. He's pitching great baseball, but he's taking advantage of the last two out of three outings as well. Versus weak hitting teams is Tejon Walker. In sixth, versus the Tigers, seven innings, got the win. Two hits, no runs, three walks, eight Ks, a quality start. June 11th versus the Dodgers, five innings, got the win. Two hits, no runs, two walks, five Ks. And June 16th versus Oakland, eight innings, got the win in that one. Seven hits, a run, eight Ks, a quality start. So Walker's going out there. He's pitching good baseball. But the true test, obviously, will be tomorrow with the Atlanta Braves in town here versus Philly team. This Brave team, one of the best teams in the league and they got a lot of great hitters in that lineup so right now while walker's pitching great baseball and he's been an ace over the last two weeks for fantasy baseball owners and the phillies this is a time right now to sell him off because i think he's just going to be a 500 to mid threes or four era pitcher the rest of the season and the fifth and final pitcher i look for selling trade this week here's michael walker of the san diego padres so michael walker last season was great for the Boston Red Sox, 11-2 with a 3.32. And this season, he's picked up where he left off, 80 and two-thirds, 7-2 and two record, 69 Ks, 2.90 ERA, a 1.05 whip, and nine quality starts. But the last two weeks here for him, 18 and two-thirds, 2-0 two and record, 12 Ks, and 0.96 ERA, 0.75 whip, and three quality starts. So Walk is going out there, and he's pitching great baseball for the San Diego Padre team. So right now, he's pretty much been the ace to this staff until Blake Snell over the last few weeks has really stepped up and pitched good. You Darvish, he's been up and down, especially the last few outings haven't been that great for him. And Joe Musgrove's been in and out of the rotation with injuries. So the last few games here for Walker, he's taken advantage of mediocre to poor hitting offenses. June 7th versus Seattle, six innings got the win. Two hits, no runs, a walk, seven Ks, a quality start. June 14th versus Cleveland, six and two thirds got the win in that one. Four hits, no runs, a walk, 5Ks, a quality start. And June 19th at the Giants, they blow it for him was this Padre bullpen. Six innings, no decision. Four hits, two runs, two walks, a quality start. So the last three outings, he's gone out there, not giving up runs, really. Three quality starts in a row. And it's good to see Walker pitching good, but I don't know if it's going to hold up. And he's another player with injury concerns on and off throughout his career. So that's a few pitches I look to sell and trade here in week 12 of the fantasy baseball season.